Which item in this picture do you think negatively affects people's health more than anything else? Alcohol? Cigarettes? The donut? Hamburger? Sure, they're all pretty bad for you, but most people know that and at least try to limit their intake somewhat to these items, even a little bit. But it's the things we don't think about that can really cause damage. Things we use every day so regularly we don't even think about how its constant use could actually be killing us. The real culprit is the chair. We were given legs for a reason. Most third world cultures don't even have chairs and they walk an average of 10 miles a day. We in the modern world, on the other hand, spend most of our entire waking day sitting down. People go right from bed to sitting on the toilet, after which they sit at the breakfast table, then they sit in the car as they drive to work and spend the entire day sitting at a desk, only getting up to sit in the toilet and in the cafeteria. Then they sit in the car to drive and sit at the local bar for happy hour. Then when they've had enough of that, they go drive home and spend the rest of the day sitting in a comfortable chair watching TV before they crawl to bed to recover from all the physical exertion that day. And when people go out, they sit at a restaurant or a movie theater. Sitting all day is far worse for you than you might think. A 2010 American Cancer Society study following over 123,000 people from 1993 to 2016 found these alarming results. People who were inactive and sat for over six hours a day were 94% more likely to die during the time period studied than those who were physically active and sat less than three hours a day. That's almost 100%. And get this, findings were independent of physical activity levels. The negative effects of sitting were just as strong in people who exercised regularly. 60%, that's over half of employees surveyed, were convinced they would be more productive if they had the option to work on their feet. Medical experts have started referring to long periods of physical inactivity and its negative consequences as sitting disease. Below this video are links to an endless list of medical studies showing physical inactivity and low fitness are serious threats to cardiovascular health. Even with a low body fat index, sitting has been linked to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Studies showing differences in brachial and femoral artery responses to prolonged sitting. Studies showing reducing sedentary time may protect DNA. Sedentary lifestyle has been linked to depression. How sitting less increases muscle mass. Multiple studies linking diabetes to inactivity and sitting. Cells in idle muscles don't respond well to insulin, so the pancreas produces more and more, leading to diabetes. And how five minutes of 